Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If <sighs> this again, the fifth time's a charm. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name's Michaela, and today's video is going to be my um, 31 week update. So I am going to be eating ice cream in this video just because I just got home from school and I'm super hungry. So if you want to, you can grab a snack too and just, you know, it'll be kind of like we're chilling. Okay, I got my ice cream. Maybe you got a snack, maybe you don't. We'll just get right into the video. So my notes for my symptoms and things like that are right here. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So first I'm gonna start off with Carter and what's going on with him and things like that. So the first thing is, is he's the size of a asparagus. All five senses are in working order. He's 5.2 to 16.7 inches approximately. He's 2.5 to 3.8 pounds approximately. He can turn his head side to side. He's peeing about two cups of liquid into the anatomic fluid and his irises are reacting to light. Now, whenever he pees into the anatomic fluid, it does obviously get cleaned out and it doesn't just, he doesn't just like sit and pee or anything. It actually gets replaced like every day. I forget what my app says, but that's what it says. Next thing I'm gonna be talking about are some things that could be going on with my body this week, which is being out of breath, dry, brittle nails, which I wouldn't know because I have fake nails, uh, Braxton Hicks, leaky boobs, frequent urination, backaches, and difficulty sleeping. Some of those you will see in my symptoms list, which I'm going to read now and explain my symptoms. So, my first symptom I'm going to talk about is I am out of breath at certain times. I put at certain times there because I'm not out of breath all the time. Sometimes he'll just get really high up and he'll be pressing more on my lungs and I'll get super out of breath and I'll kind of feel like I'm going to pass out but I, I don't pass out but that's just what it feels like. The next thing is I am going to the bathroom more mostly at night because I drink a lot of water before I go to bed. Not sure why. It's probably not smart but I do go to the bathroom a lot in the middle of the night and I do go to the bathroom a lot during school because I drink a lot of water during school. But I have noticed I do go to the bathroom a lot more than I did last week. Next is I'm feeling more movements more frequently. So I usually feel movements all throughout the day. And then while I'm asleep, it'll usually stop. So it's kind of like he's sleeping when I'm sleeping and he's awake when I'm awake. So he's like... He does this thing now where he likes to kick me like straight in the ribs and he likes to like, I don't know, it's called pedaling I think, but he likes to like kick his feet, like I don't know how to describe it, but he kicks his feet really weird and I always feel it on this side and he'll move his like, like I don't know, I can't explain it, it just kind of like moves across my stomach, it's weird. I'm happy whenever he does it because I know he's okay, but it is really weird looking. The next thing is I am more emotional and sensitive. Like an example I can give is today during school, third graders came in. I'm not really sure why they're there. They just kind of showed up, but they came into my school and I started crying. I don't know, hormones, I guess, but I start crying and I do the same with Kalen whenever he says something that, I don't know, I just take it wrong and I just kind of start crying. So I am a lot more emotional and sensitive and I do cry a lot more than I usually do. The next thing is I have a sore pelvis. It's like the very bottom, but it's like the bones. Like I don't know how to, exp basically the bones where the baby's head comes out you know the bones that are right there that's what I'm talking about right now I'm trying to explain but those hurt really bad and they're super sore and it's mostly whenever I lay down and then I go to get up it just feels really like I don't know how to explain it it's super painful and I felt it my whole pregnancy so it's nothing new but 
this week especially it's gotten to be really painful then the next thing is exhaustion ever since prom like I went to prom and I got super sick because I was up late like I it, I wasn't like sick as in like a cold or something I was sick as in I was just tired and I couldn't get up like I just slept all day so I was just exhausted and my body was worn out and I literally slept for two days straight like I obviously woke up and ate and drank water and moved around some but for the good portion of the day I slept the next thing is I'm having more of an appetite as you can tell I eat a lot more than I usually do and I'm always hungry I tried to go for the healthier foods but every day this week I've had some ice cream after school and it's just what I'm craving the next thing is my body gets hot a lot more now this is partially because it's getting hotter outside but also if a fans like blowing on me I'm still hot I'm just getting really uncomfortable and hot and I don't know I don't like the feeling but it's gonna get hotter soon it's about to be summer and i'm gonna have to find a way to deal with it but i do get a lot hotter now then the next thing is dry skin my face is starting to get dry again even though i am using cetaphil almost every day so i have noticed i've been getting dry patches all over my face and underneath my eyes like the top of my cheeks have been super red and um like i don't know it kind of looks like a rash but it's not a rash I don't know how to explain it but my it got super red and it hurts it's very uncomfortable so I noticed that then the next thing is my stomach is starting to get itchy it's mostly right here is where my stomach gets super itchy I don't have stretch marks but it does it just it's super itchy I try not to itch it but I did notice that and then another thing is it's getting harder to do daily things like it's getting harder to walk like I kind of wobble a little bit um, it's getting harder to pick things up to shave my legs like th just normal things like that that I normally don't have a problem doing so I noticed that it actually if I start walking fast I actually get a contraction contraction but it does get super painful if I walk really fast I'll just get a Braxton Hicks and I'll have to like stop and like slow down but that's something else that has been going on the next thing is I'm having teeth problems um by this I mean like my teeth are just I need to use pro enamel because my enamel just looks like it's like it just keeps getting thinner and thinner and it's bugging me a lot so I'm going to start using that and see if that helps but also a lot of calcium is being sucked out of you and put to your baby and like you know potassium like everything's going to your baby so my teeth are kind of struggling right now so I'm just going to use some pronamel I'm going to get a dentist appointment next thing is back pains um this doesn't happen all day like I notice it at certain times like right now I'm having back pains but I feel like that's because I'm not using anything to support me but now I'm using my crib but anyways at night I'll wake up with really bad back pains at certain times in the night if I'm not supporting it with a pillow or something so I noticed that is a sign and then the next thing is leg and butt cramps I got a really bad like hip slash butt cramp the other day and I woke up this morning with a leg cramp and I always get like calf cramps in the middle of the night and I'll wake up and they're just horrible so I know that's something else that has been going on and the last thing is I am still having boob leakage it's getting worse it's not getting better so that's another symptom that I've been having and I continue to have so I'm going to do my belly shot now because that was my last symptom. So here is my belly with my shirt on. It's that side. Side. And then here it is with my shirt up.
Okay, so I'm like 37 and a half inches around. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to follow all my social medias. It's always down in my description. And I hope to see you all next video.